Alright, look, you guys know, usually I don't have too many problems with that many things. I'm generally a pretty chill person and I don't let anything really bother me, right? But I really got a bone to pick with Bandai, man. Like, they... I think they really messed up here. It's, it's just so ridiculous, I can't just go to sleep right now. It's 4 a.m., but I just can't go to sleep without just getting this off my chest because I'm pretty pissed about it, I'm not gonna lie. So at this point, you guys have seen the title, you've seen the thumbnail, you know what we're gonna talk about. And it's the Memorial Dragon Stones, all right? Not necessarily the stones themselves because I think it's a good idea. And when we first heard about it, I was like, that's great. We get to either buy tickets, which, you know, would be a one to one conversion. So it'd be the same thing as basically just getting tickets straight up like before. But we also get the additional option of buying units, specific units with the stones. So if you, you know, don't want to leave it up to chance and you want to just straight up buy a unit you're missing, then you have that choice. And I was like, that's fantastic. And then we got our stones, I popped over to the shop, and what did I find? This nonsense, man. Okay, so first of all, 150 stones for a category lead, I think is already very expensive, right? When I first made my video talking about this, I was like, maybe it's gonna be between 50 to 100 at the high end for a category lead, but I thought it was gonna be closer to 50, and then I was saying, okay, so obviously, you know, for the different other like the other kinds of leads, like 120 leads, 70% leads, older EZA units, it's gotta be cheaper, right? Because that's how it works for almost any other store, like the coin shop, uh, you know, the purple stone shop, all that stuff. The older units are cheaper. But you scroll down here, and you realize, oh, hold up. Every single unit is 150 stones. Who thought this was a good idea, man? Who thought this was a good idea? This is just, this, this is stupid. Why, why is Super Saiyan 3 Goku the same price as STR Namek Goku? All right, why is Int Ultimate Gohan the same price as AGL Metal Cooler? Like it just, it makes no sense whatsoever, man. And I don't usually like to complain that much. You guys know I don't make this many videos like this. I don't. And I've actually been the person over the last you know year, year and a half, that has been complimenting Bandai quite a bit, okay? Like, a lot of people have been complaining about various things, Pilaf's Trove, or, you know, Global Shaft, whatever, like a bunch of stuff. And I'm usually the guy that's like, look, I think overall Bandai's been doing a much better job, you know, making the game more free to play, giving us more free stones, giving us new features, new events, all that stuff. I'm like, oh, they're doing a good job, but I, I can't defend this one. I, I really can't defend this one. Like, this is such a tease, you know, like, giving us the option, the illusion of the option to buy like specific units, but then when it comes to their free-to-play player base, which is still most of their players, and I'm, I'm talking about this from a perspective of a free-to-play player, I'm not a free-to-play player, as you can tell. We have 300 Memorial Dragon Stones, I already spent about 250 of them, so we in total had over 500, right? So I'm clearly not free-to-play, but for a free-to-play player like my girlfriend or many of you guys, uh, you can't even buy any of these units, man because no free-to-play player would have gotten 150 Memorial Dragon Stones. The most you probably would have gotten was like 110 or something like that. And that's if you got every single stone available over the last year um, and, you know, spent all of them, right? So this is just not going to be an option for free-to-play players, which is ridiculous. And the thing is, like, I'm extra pissed off because everybody costs the same. It just, it, it doesn't make any sense, right? So... If you wanted to make these guys, okay, 150, at least make the 120 of these 100 so that, you know, a free-to-play player could pick one up for their stones, right? Even then, I would say, no, don't do it because it's just not worth it, right? Like, ultimately, I think that because they're so expensive that if you have, like, around 150, and, like, unless you're a whale, which in which case you don't have to listen to me, you can do whatever you want, but if you're, like, a free-to-play player or, you know, a little bit of a light spender, you have around 150, I wouldn't even recommend people to even buy a category lead, all right? I think... That your best option is to buy the tickets and just leave it up to chance because that's 15 multis. Actually, more than 15 because there's seven unit multis, right? But that's 15 like regular 10 unit multis um, that you're giving up for you know one of these units. And I just feel like you're much more likely to pull more value, like get more value out of the summons than just getting one of these units, especially 
if you're not going for one of the newer category leads, right? Let's say if you want like, I don't know, Int, Int Gogeta for some reason, or Final Form Cooler or something like that, like 120 leads, like these guys, they're so old, man, they should not cost the same. They should not cost 150. Like this is, it's such a tease. It really is. It's like, oh, you know, you would give you the option, but then it's going to be so expensive that most free to play players, actually all free to play players, aren't going to be able to buy any of them. So it's only essentially for people that spend money on this game. Sorry guys, we want your money. And I get that, look, it's a business, right? But like, they, they've done very free to play friendly things in the past, right? Like the 55 ticket multi for the five year anniversary with a guaranteed LR. If you can give away a free guaranteed LR, you can you can make these cheap enough to get, at least allow people to buy like one category lead or something like that, right? But nah, they weren't about it. Bandai was not about that life, so I just had to get this off my chest, man. I, I, I'm pissed off. Not necessarily even for myself, because if I wanted to, I could buy a couple copies. I could have actually bought like almost four. I mean, I could have at least gotten three, but I didn't want to, because I'm like, I'm, I'm getting the tickets, because I'm just much more about that life, right? The summons, I'm just, I have a summoning addiction. You guys know that I have a problem, so I was going to do the summons anyways, but I just feel for the people, man, that were excited to exchange their Memorial Dragonstones for actual characters they wanted and many people at this point just can't they just don't have you know the the, 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 the memorial dragon stones for it they don't have enough it's 150 man um to be fair okay look the only time i recommend people to actually you know buy characters with the stones given the high cost is number one if you're going for a category lead and one of the newer ones at that and uh, also number two if you have a lot of to spare right so let's say you have like 500 600 and uh, you're only specifically targeting like one or two units on the banner, like everything else is done or you just don't want them. And in that case, sure, go buy them. But it's just, it's just silly, man. It's just silly. I'm, I'm upset. Can you tell? I'm upset. It's very late right now. It's like 4 a.m. But I just couldn't go to sleep without, without making this video, without putting this out there, getting it off my chest. And I might be overreacting a little bit. I'm not really sure right now because I'm like very, very sleep deprived. I haven't slept in about 36 hours, but I'm, I, I feel like I'm thinking very clearly right now. And I don't think I'm anything I'm saying right now is unreasonable. You know, you guys can let me know in the comments down below if you agree with me or disagree with me. Am I being crazy? Am I overreacting or am I perfectly reacting at the right level based on just how outrageous this is? I, I, I think it was a mistake, man. I think it was a mistake. If you wanted to keep your player base happy, you should not have done this. You should not have done this. I'm talking to you Bandai Spies out there right now. You're watching. They're always out there. They're always watching. Believe me, guys. There's Bandai Spies watching this right now, and I want to tell them that this was not okay. All right? So, oh, man. That's, that's I think, all I wanted to say. Uh, I think that's that's enough for tonight. Uh, it's, it's bedtime. It's bedtime. I'm going to go try to sleep this off. Maybe in the morning. I'll, I'll, I'll reconsider, but right now, I, I don't think I will, honestly, but right now, I, I, I know this is this is an injustice inflicted upon the global and JP player base, but especially our uh, free-to-play brothers and sisters out there that don't, it's just will not have enough Memorial Dragons, though, no matter what they did, because if, unless they spent money, which would mean they're not free-to-play anymore, uh, they would not have enough Memorial Dragon Stones to actually pick up even one copy of anything, man. Let alone a category lead, not even a 120 lead, not even a 70% lead, not even a freaking like four year old unit, you know, like a uh, Super Saiyan, uh, you know, three Go Tanks or whatever. Should be, they're, they're pretty much four years old now, right? Yeah, yeah, so it's. What's up with that, Bandai? I want some answers. I want to know if you're out there. Send me a message, send me an email, something, give me a sign, tweet me, Tiger Upcut Media, no, actually eat like Goku on Twitter, or Tiger Upcut Media on Instagram, send me a DM, alright, let me know what you were thinking, because I just don't get it, okay, so there you go guys, that is, that is today's video, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments down below how your summons went, I, like I said, spend your, your, your stones on, on tickets, okay, most people should not most people should not be buying these characters but of course the choice is ultimately up to you all right i'm not going to judge anybody for doing it i just i just think it's not right i just think it's not right and i definitely won't be doing it stay tuned for some summoning videos with these tickets because that's where the stones are going to go to um 
But yeah, guys, I guess that is all I gotta say. I need to go to bed. It's too late. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys agree with me, disagree with me, how you feel about this whole situation. Am I being crazy? I don't think so. But maybe I am. So, let me know how you feel about that too. And, uh, yeah. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.